In this video, we're going to talk about the messaging feature using Ring Central. For now, we're going to be using the web-based application by going to app.ringcentral.com and logging in with our credentials. But if you happen to be using the Ring Central desktop app, this is also the same process. So regardless of what you're using, you'll be able to access messaging the same way. I'm already logged in here, and you can see on the left-hand side, I have the little quotation bubble clicked. So if you click on it, that will take you to the messaging portion of Ring Central. Just a little bit about what you're looking at here. You have on the left-hand side all of your messages and any teams that you may be a part of. In the center, you have whatever that conversation is. And then here on the right-hand side, if we click this arrow at the top, you can see what's called the shelf, which has all of the information that goes on within that conversation. So for now, I'm just going to minimize that, but we will take a look at it in just a few. So you can see we have our direct messages here. If I click onto one of my conversations, I can click into it here and see the conversation I've been having with my colleague. I have a few options that are here as well. I can format the message if I like by clicking onto here. You can see that I have the ability to bold it or underline it or any of these other options. I can also attach a file and there is no file limit size here. So you can attach whatever file you wish here using either your computer or your Google Drive. You can upload files for your colleagues to view and access. For fun, you can also use emojis and GIFs if you would like to share with your colleagues either of those options. And you can also create new tasks or new events for the group that you're talking to or for the person that you're talking to. So if by any chance you have a new task that you would like to assign that person or that person needs to complete, you can enter that information here by giving the task a title and filling out all of that information. You can also allow for when that task is going to be complete and that could be when the task is checked when it's checked by everyone that it's assigned to or when it's completely done so you can play around with this feature if you do have um, something like that within your conversation and you can also have multiple people inside of a conversation at once so this conversation I have going on with just one person but if I wanted to have a conversation with more than one person I can simply click on the little plus sign here to create a new message and then I can add the names or email addresses that I want included inside of this conversation so if I wanted to include my colleague here and I wanted to add somebody else in here as well, I can do that by clicking into here and that would then invite all of those people to that conversation. In this case, I'm not going to do that because I just want to show you one other way that you can also create a new message besides going from the direct messages option here. In the upper right hand corner, you have this plus sign here, the new actions menu. And if you click on that plus sign, you have the ability to send a new message this way as well. So if I click send a new message, it's going to take me to the same exact place as I showed you before when I accessed it from the direct messages menu. Now you also have Teams here, and the difference between Teams and Conversations is direct messages is a very informal way of having a conversation back and forth with someone, but Teams is really great if you're going to be collaborating or if you have a project-based conversation that you're going to be having. If you have a team, you can also utilize the option of having tasks and events within that conversation. So let's say there are five people on a team that are included here, you can assign anyone in that group a specific task for a project. So to create a team, you can go to the plus sign here under create team, and you can add everyone that's going to be added to that team here. But in this case, all we're going to talk about is how you can actually send a message and have that conversation. So if I wanted to create a new message again, I can either go up here to the upper right corner or what I'm going to do is click on the plus sign here from direct messages and I'm going to include my colleague in here and I'm just going to type a message to him here. So I've typed my message here and if I go ahead and press send, that will go ahead and send that message to my colleague. And you can see now I have another message that has been added to my direct messages here on the left hand side. So my conversation has already started with my colleague here and I can utilize any of these options here at the bottom. But one really great thing I can do is let's say I'm having this conversation with Anthony and I decide that we need to talk about something specific for an upcoming meeting. Instead of having a conversation by typing, I can turn this call right into a video call by clicking start a video call and that will automatically 
make this conversation into a video and then we can have a conversation that way. I can also automatically call him as well if I want to just call him on the phone. I can choose the little phone up here and it will call him so we can have that conversation over the phone. Now I mentioned before you have something called the shelf here on the right hand side. And this is where anything that has been shared in our conversation is going to be stored. So if we have anything pinned or any files that we went back and forth about or any GIFs or images that we shared will be here as well. So if I go to another conversation that I have here with another colleague and I click on files, I can see there's a file that I shared with him there and images that I shared as well. I can see if there's a GIF that I shared with him that I can access as well. So you don't have to keep the shelf up if you would prefer it to be collapsed. You could just click on the arrow again and that will collapse it and make your screen a little bit bigger. As you can see, messaging with RingCentral is a great feature. It allows you to have not only just informal conversations, but you can also have really great team conversations if you need to collaborate on a specific project.